Hello! Today we're going to take a look at the status board template at SharePointDashboards.com. Have you ever had a situation where you have a SharePoint list where you have to track status on projects or a process that needs to be complete? In some cases you've got lots of different status values that you're tracking. One limitation with SharePoint is that you can only get those column widths down to 100 pixel. And that means you might be scrolling over on the page to be able to see everything that you want. We're going to be looking at a template which gets around that issue and it lets you have a consolidated status grid where you can easily review the status and make updates in the grid. So now let's get SharePoint smart. Alright, so here I am at SharePointDashboards.com. This template will be linked under the video. This is the status board template and you can see a preview of what this looks like. And this is something where if you have inline edit mode turned on, you can actually change statuses by just clicking into the squares in your template. So there's lots of options you can adjust. The first thing you might want to take a look at is try taking a look at the different themes and that just gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the possibilities. You want to go ahead and fill in a title to appear above your status board so I'll do that first. Okay and then after that what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have all of the statuses and icons and colors that I want to do. For mine, I'm doing not started, in progress, and complete. Let me reset that. I got rid of the wrong one. Okay, so not started, in progress, complete. So I'm going to get rid of these two. Now you can pick any status values you want, and you can pick any icons that you want by using the icon picker. So no matter how many different options there are across all your status fields, you can just go ahead and change that. When I say status fields, I mean SharePoint choice fields. I am gonna use the inline edit option. And then in the bottom, it instructs you the first field needs to be the label, which will appear on the left-hand side. That's this first column. And that'll be linked to the view form for that SharePoint record. Normally that's gonna be your title field. So you can just put title there or alternatively just reference the name of the column which is going to have that label. For the other fields we need to adjust and what we're going to do is go ahead and put in our field names. There's a special notation. In order to make this look nice we need to have abbreviated labels for the column headers. And the way you're able to do that is to separate your abbreviated title from the field name with a colon. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, uh, I already have a SharePoint list here with my choice field. So I've got these seven and you'll see how this is going to work. So my first one is setup. I'm going to abbreviate that SUP. So I just put SUP colon setup. Then my next one is scoping. I'm going to do SCO for that. Next one after that is proposal. So I do PRO for the abbreviation and then the full field name is proposal. Then I've got sign off. That'll be SGN. After that, I've got kickoff, which I'll do KO. And then I've got two more. So I've got testing, TST, and go live. I'm going to do LIV for go live and then the name of the field. And that's everything I need to do for my setup. And again, you can use whatever options you want in your situation. So I just copy the template, then I can come over to SharePoint, go to my view selector, format current view, advanced mode, and then I can copy in my template. There we go. Now, if I click on the 
title column that's going to open up the view form. I can edit those if I want to. And then inline, you can see I use the inline edit mode. If I hover over any of these options, I can change them at any time. So if I want to change that to in progress, there we go. And you can see the icon switch over. So that makes entry really easy. Now in my case, I only had seven columns, but you can have as many as 20 columns going across from left to right. So um, lots of um, possibilities as far as setting that up. So all you have to do is um, adjust the settings. I misspelled go live, I was wondering about that. So if you do have a broken field reference, you can see that it ended up blank, but very easy to make the switch. I can just come back in here, place my code, save, there we go. Now we see those just as expected. And then you can make other tweaks as if you want to as well. Maybe you want those um, icons to be a little bit bigger. So I can adjust the column width, make that bigger. I can adjust the column or the icon size. So if I want to make those really big, I can make those adjustments and just with a couple of clicks, I can easily adjust the look and feel of my template just to tweak it to get it to look just the way that I like to see it. There you go. So now I've got a different look and feel. All of the look and feel aspects are adjustable, including the background color on the header. And then you've got alternating row colors just to make it easy to see. If you hover over a column, a header that will show you the full name of the column. And then if you hover over the icons that will show you the text equivalent of the icon that's shown. So that can help users who aren't necessarily sure what those values are. And there you have a way to show lots and lots of status fields in a grid that's compact and also allows for inline edit. So this is a scenario that comes up a lot. A lot of times we're doing tracking. We're trying to track something from start to finish and that means we want to keep up with the status of things as they're moving along. Also we want it to be fluid and editable and easy to update. And we don't have to scroll around to see it. We want to be able to just call this up and see everything on one page. This template allows you to show everything in one page. It overcomes the 100 pixel minimum width column restriction that's normally on SharePoint columns and allow you to go ahead and make that compact and shown on one screen in a grid and you can make it look exactly how you want. So I hope that helps you out. I hope you're soon using this status board template at sharepoint-boards.com. Thank you.